The House passed a bill increasing the payments from $600 to $2,000. But as Chris Pallone reports from Washington, the House did more than just that yesterday. Good morning, Everett and Jason. The House of Representatives voted to override a Trump veto for the first time in his presidency over a key military spending bill. The question now is, will Senate Republicans back the bill or the president? A bipartisan rebuke for President Trump. The yeas are 322. The nays are 87. More than a two-thirds House majority voting to override his veto of the National Defense Authorization Act, the first time it's happened during the Trump presidency. Mr. Trump said he vetoed the bill because it would allow for the renaming of military bases which now honor Confederate military leaders and because it fails to strip liability protections from websites over what their users post. The bill is passed. The override followed a close vote in the House to increase coronavirus stimulus checks from $600 to $2,000, a move pushed by the president but backed by Democrats. Do you support the $2,000 right yes. This is not a stimulus. It is not. And it does nothing to help get people back to work. It sets up a test for Republicans in the Senate who generally oppose increasing the stimulus checks. I am telling Donald Trump, don't just talk about it, act. These Senate Republicans have followed you through thick and thin. Get them now to act and support the $2,000 checks. But there's no guarantee Majority Leader Mitch McConnell will even bring the measure to the Senate floor for a vote. Vermont Independent Senator Bernie Sanders says he will block a vote on the Defense Authorization Act veto override until the Senate votes on increasing those stimulus checks. Current Congress ends on Sunday. In Washington, Chris Pallone, Local 4 News Today.